So September 6, 2024, we launched Super Gabi Bugusha. And this is us moving into the we are here. boat. This side. <laughs> um, oh, this, is her. this is her. Hello. And we had a little bit of a celebration on the boat. We had some pizza and some champagne to commemorate the day. <laughs> Did you catch one? No, not yet. Not yet. Brilliant craftsmanship. There you go. <laughs> Job. Yeah. Ready? Finally took Super Gabby Bogusha SGB out <laughs> into the water. We are anchored right now. Um, how do you feel about taking her out for a first spin? Yeah, it was challenging. Especially... It was hard when we were coming out of the marina. <laughs> we almost... Just when we fell into the water, <laughs> she was like on the... <laughs> I was like, because like, um, um, Marcin took out the stern line first. <laughs> And I was taking out the the bow line, and um, but he the, he had the engine on already, and he was drifting towards the boat right beside us. And then I was holding this the boat on the side, and it was like literally like this. <laughs> I was like, like doing splits, and then the guy had to come. One of the thankfully there was somebody there because I was like I'm not letting go of this boat because if we crash into the boat next to us it's gonna be you know I'm willing to just like hold into the boat for dear life and um, it was super scary <laughs> like not for me I'm okay because you're just gonna plunge into the water but like just going onto the, <laughs> the other boat was... the other boat okay. so yeah like we learned today to let go of the stern line last the most stressful thing was to, just to get out from marina everything else is sort of intuitive we were just motoring out we've already driven like a motorboat before and that was kind of pretty intuitive it's just like kind of like a car basically um and it's kind of the same with the sailboat um except for you know obviously there's like the sails but everything is sort of intuitive that when you have to bring it up you want more power etc so i think i think it's a it was a good first time to just get it out in the water and experience it for ourselves and learn. We've learned today that I'm better off bringing all the sails, the sails up, like hoisting it all up 
and moving around the boat rather than steering the boat yeah now we're watching a beautiful beautiful sunset we have such good weather today so it's actually a good time to practice how we what roles we're gonna take but definitely for me i i can't steer in and out of the marina I'm better off just sort of like taking the lines out and preparing everything and then even when we're coming into the marina i'll be the one jumping out and taking in the lines and you know and marching kind of steers and like guides the boat um anything else what did you feel like you did well on and do that you think that you need to improve i think the, the putting up the sails was definitely well you were on. really good at that yeah, yeah, yeah. like you you did such a good job and that was my first time doing that so and I, I need to improve, improve on communication and like i need to because i i have everything in my head and i like talking to myself in the, yeah. in the head but i just need to be verbal because you know yeah, yeah so martin has a problem of telling me what's happening of uh, because like he's technically the captain because um i don't really know what i'm doing and but he just doesn't communicate with me exactly what's happening or what he's which intending is bad to, for captain <laughs> you know but which is bad because i have no idea what's what's happening for me, I think uh, what I need to do better on is steering in general. I think it's okay when it's in like open water, but not in the marina. I think I need to do better on kind of like using the lines to pull the boat. When you were drifting to the other side of the boat, mm -hmm. I was like grabbing the boat instead of like the line. So, and I didn't have enough like strength. <laughs> right. it's good so, to we're going to go back into the marina now. And um, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> <laughs> but we parked. No casualties. We didn't crash any other boats or our boat. We came back in one piece, although I did pull a muscle. <laughs> Oh my back. <laughs> so basically when we were coming into the to the to the berth, the tide is actually going out. So there's a like a really strong current. We were going against obviously the current. <laughs> it was very stressful. Yeah. Um so I jumped out while Martin was steering, so I could just pull the boat rather than going into like our boat neighbor. But still it was like you were going adrift mm. and i was trying to pull really hard and um i only had the stern line with me there's some fish jumping out and i forgot to take the bow line so i hooked it up and really quickly and i went in front at the very front and grabbed the boat to like bring it in I get scared that we crashed into the, especially when we, when we crashed into the, the, the. Yeah, we we actually crashed into the, when we were coming forward, we crashed into the, um, platform. I guess I don't know what it's called, but it wasn't too bad. It did kind of like, go up a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. I do think that, we were going too fast coming in. <laughs> 